Good day everyone, a very, very, very warm welcome to you. My name is Nick, we're on the ZX Spectrum, and we're looking at a game called Super Seymour Saves the Planet, published by Codemasters in 1991. It's a platformer, which reminds me a little bit of um, Bomb Jack. Also come out on the Amiga, Astro CBC, Atari ST, and the Commodore 64. Now, Seymour is a character who must clear the world of toxic waste and toxic mutants, so unlucky if you're uh, an X-Men. Now, there's lots of games in the Seymour series, five in fact so here I go uh, the other one we reviewed is Wild West Seymour here I go in backwards and forward nice animation on the cape it's a little bit of color clash now we've got to collect all these objects ideally the one that's glowing for a, a bonus but it doesn't really matter what order we uh, collect them in and uh, if you hit any of the enemy you're dead now you can stamp on the burger type ones so let's just see how I get on uh, nice big uh, floaty graphics you can already see probably if you're familiar with that game um, how it's uh, similar to Bomb Jack right now the character moves quite slowly um, if I do up and space it gives a bigger jump so that's that one am I dead? Yeah, I've died. Okay. So the burger ones you can jump on. The rounder ones, if you hit them, you seem to be doomed. Let's at least get off level one. I should have done this now, shouldn't I? Right, okay. So let's go round this way. Or should we go back the other way? Oh, we sort of like uh, got a, sort of a jungle background. You can see that yellow bar going down in the bottom. I think that might be um, time or energy. But it's going down pretty quickly. I've got three lives left on the right. Just above that is the time. In fact, currently on 83. This is level one, and I'm making this game probably look a lot more difficult than it really is. Now, it's quite a bit different from the first Seymour game we reviewed, Wild West Seymour. Check that one out. But it's got a few good elements uh, to it. Uh, these reviews are not about expert gameplay. They're all about seeing how the game would have played back in the day if you got it as a present for your birthday or saved up with your pocket money. And would you have actually hated it, or would you have thought, yeah, it's not too bad a game? And I think this is one of those ones where we're in not too bad a game. Uh, could get hidden amongst all the other Seymour games, uh, but there we go. Codemasters were on a bit of a run at the time with um, the Dizzy games, um, so they created this extra character called Seymour. It is rather late in the ZX Spectrum's run, 1991, so there's a chance that not many people would have heard of it. The 16-bit games are really coming into their flow at that point. Now, come on Nick, let's at least get off level 1, mate. He can do this. Oh, I can bump into that thing sideways and that dies. Stamp on that. Right, I'm getting the hang of this now. And there's a power-up. I think if I hit uh, enter, I can do the power-up at certain times. Oh, I was expecting the level to be over then. Perhaps I need to kill one of these boys as well. That's it. I've killed them all. Oh, I've died. Oh, man. Oh, but I've got a time bonus. I've done the level. Well done, me. So at least we can see a few other levels. I do have a cheat for this uh, one for Infinite Lies, but I don't think we'll use it because I think I'm confident I can see you, show you at least a few of the levels. What's this thing? So what do you think of this then? I think that's a hot air balloon, isn't it? Stamp that. Oh, now his friends come to get me, and I've stamped on him as well. There's a power-up. Don't know what that does. So I've killed all the aliens, but some seem to be regenerating. I've just fired that thing. What's that? It's like a cage which has stopped the enemy coming towards me. So much like Bomb Jack, if you collect the items uh, that, that's flashing in the order, you will get points for those ones. But it's uh, sometimes it's a little bit trickier to do that. I'm liking this game, actually. I'm liking it a lot more than the first uh, Seymour game I reviewed, Wild West Seymour. It'd be interested to see the other ones to see if they're all similar, but the, the first two are completely different from each other, which is nice to see. I've shied away from those games, so I thought they'd all be virtually the same, but this is looking good. Should I should I look at the other Seymour games? Let me know. There's Seymour Super Stump Man, uh, Seymour Goes to Hollywood. I can't quite remember the uh, other ones, but I'm sure we're going to find out. If you're watching these live as they go up, the other game that went up today was Tintin on the Moon. I think I prefer Tintin on the Moon to this one, but this one's pretty cool as well. So do check out that review if you haven't already. Right, so we've got a white screen this time. This looks a bit easier. There's a couple of tanks at the top there. I don't know what they are. They look like something off Robot Wars. Hmm. Matilda or Sergeant Bash. Oops, I've used my special power already. But anyway, that seems stamped on. This looks like it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Right, this game's pretty addictive now. Now, there's quite a bit... You notice when Seymour goes next to those sort of like um, bars or ledges, there's a bit of colour clash there. He's a bit of a wide character. There's no one quite like Seymour. Once you've got past stage one, I think it does get a little bit easier. Don't die, Seymour. 
buff, crash the tank. There's a power up again. Oh good, we're flying through here now. Stage three done. Oh, I thought it was done. And there we go, that's our special power. Surely that's enough. No, we need to stamp on him as well, maybe. Is that enough? No, we need to take out the other one as well. So it's making us work for our money here. Fire. There it goes. That's going to capture him. Now we can jump on him, hopefully, and he's doomed. Doomed to Betsy. That's it. Time bonus. Thank you very much. If you completed this game, let me know. I would have loved this as a kid. So you do a normal jump. I'll do it up. I'll do up in the space bar. And then he does a bigger jump. He's got super powers. And by collecting those power-ups, you can launch which ones they are. Stage 1 is a lot he uh, more difficult than these other stages because the bars will like break away the screen and stop the meanies coming to get you. Right, mutant count's going down. Mm, there's three of them here. This could be a little bit tricky. Come on, super, super Seymour. Save the planet from toxic waste and he's died, has he? No, we got away with that. Our superpower saved us. We can stamp on all of them at the same time. yippity doo doo Boing. 600 points. Boing, boing. Please may that be the end of the stage. No, we've got to take out those other two. We've got about 45, 44 seconds to do it in. We've got any special powers left? Yes, there's one. I think that was like super spit power. C crushed. Like, um, like those spiders, Horace and the Spiders. Now just got this one mad beach ball thing. There we go, super powers. Boof, thank you very much. Next stage, oh yes, yeah. so it's a, it's a slight, um, it takes you a little while to get used to this. Once you, once you have done, you'll be flying through the levels. I'm not particularly super good at these games, as we know, but I'm doing all right with this. So far, get ready. Stage four, no, level five. What am I talking about? I can't even count properly. What's that thing? It's having a bit of a fit in the middle. Looks like something from some mad uh, genetic experimentation laboratory that's escaped. If you're something that's escaped from a mad expectation laboratory, then comment below. Hooray! If you're liking the channel, and you just found it by accident, and you haven't subscribed, there's lots of other stuff on the channel as well. Probably uh, about 2,000 or so reviews if you want to check out your favourite system if we're covering it. And please consider subscribing if you like what's going on. And what helps the channel continue in the attempt to try and review everything ever before going bankrupt is if you want to become a member of the channel, help it continue, then click on the join button, see what it's all about. If you, if you think that's pretty good, then please consider joining. It helps me out massively to keep this thing on the rails and not falling off like that car in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Or was it Temple of Doom? Temple of Doom was the mine car, wasn't it? Right, off we go again. Level one. See if we can get a bit further. Boing. Trying to pick up the points here. Yeah, so stage one's definitely a lot more difficult than the other stages and I've fallen to my doom. Or Seymour has. The mutant counts is going down there. Right, land on that, that's it. They do regenerate these aliens. I've got us power up there, I don't know what the power is, but we're probably gonna use it in a bit to get off this stage. Right, that's all the stuff got. Just gotta kill both of these or one of them and that's not worked. Oh man. Come on, see oh that's okay. I died, but they still said oh fair enough, you can go to stage two anyway. Power. Check out the power gauge, it says zero. All goes magenta when you get the bonuses. Let's try and do it in some kind of order. This looks fairly easy, this guy. Just one left, and now Burger Boy's turned up. Oh, no. Is he let? Oh, God. Had that man covered, and then the other enemy um, just come on top. That's it. He can take that fella. B, I think, is for bomb. Might be launched that in a while. Time's ticking down quite a lot. There we go. That's gone up a bit of extra uh, mutant count for us. Oh, that was a cheap life to lose. Well done, Nicky. So there's a hot air balloon, this robotic burger sort of like thing, which is well animated. This game's growing on me more and more as I play it. Um, the backgrounds are a bit bit weird, a bit busy, but they can get away with that. It's one of those games where I wouldn't mind seeing it on 16-bit, but as far as I'm aware... Oh, it did come out on the Amiga, according to my uh, notes here. I think I said that before. So yeah, it might be worth checking, down on, checking out on the Amiga, Nick, to see what the backgrounds are like. And it's game over again, getting gradually worse. Um, that Nick at the top, I don't think is me. One million billion points he scored. Let's, let's lie, let's say it was me. Well done, me. So what can we say about this game? 
Well, it's it's a copy of the Bomber Jack, more or less, but the graphics are good, it moves well. A nice, bold uh, character, much better than uh, the ZX Spectrum Bomb Jack, at least. Uh, Seymour's got a nice flappy cape, that's well animated, and the level design is, is pretty cool. The first level is more difficult than the second, third, and fourth one, but I can let that go, so maybe this one is a little bit out of order. But it's a nice, fun game, and as a kid, if I had bought it, I would have been more than happy. Excellent stuff, good old Seymour, and it probably would have convinced me to buy a few other the Seymour games. Um, as I say, and they are a little bit different, so I might be disappointed with those ones. But we'll find out in the time to come, because in the attempt to review everything ever, uh, then we're bound to come up to it. At time recording, we're nearing on 750 ZX Spectrum games reviewed. There's that many. It's going to be pretty epic when we get to a thousand, which I'm sure we will do. So thank you for your support. Hurrah! It's all about easing stress, this. It doesn't take itself too seriously. And if you've joined us in any of the live streams, we come together, have a bit of nonsense chat, a bit of fun, and blow away the day's stresses. So have a look at those. If you subscribe there, hit the, uh, the bell button, and I think it will send you an alert when one comes up. But uh, I do um, I do put it on Twitter as well, at Jenkins7Nick. Whoa. Well, I'll put a link to it anyway, an alert that it's coming up. Boing. Right, that's that thing flattened. We're on state level two now. Good. Use your powers wisely. That thing's going to come and get us, is it? We've got just enough time to get that. There's, an, there's another bomb. Come on, Seymour. You can do this thing. Yeah, this is cool. Boing. I do recommend tracking this one down, if you can do. If you owned it back in the day, then yeah, uh, uh, track it down. Good. Ooh. Don't know how much it will be on eBay nowadays. Probably overpriced, to be fair, like a lot of them are. Right, I'm, I'm, each go I'm getting gradually worse. I tend to do that. Maybe I'm just getting more and more, more and more tired. But the time, time, time isn't an issue. That's a mystery power there. Well, I only got. Well. Ah, oh, what? Do you see that? An enemy just regenerated where I was. That's called death spiral. That is. Two left. Oh, that was awkward. The enemies got in the wrong place there. They certainly did. Oh, it's game over again. Well, you know, I really like that game. Addictive gameplay. Reminiscent of Bomb Jack, which isn't a bad thing, but different enough in its own right with cool graphics. So, yeah, a pretty good game, that. So I hope you liked having a look at that gameplay review type thing. That was Super Seymour Saves the Planet on the ZX Spectrum, published by Codemasters in 1991. Got any comments about this game, similar games, anything Seymour related or retro, then by all means put that below. You're always more than welcome. Until next time, take great care of yourself and a very fond goodbye. Goodbye.